Well, just after four o'clock, the formal program of what it will be the first day of the BRICS Summit is getting underway. It's about 10 minutes, 15 minutes from now. I know you're tuning in for that. Good to have you with us. I'm Gareth Edwards. Welcome to today. Uh, Dan Wiane is away for today's edition of the show. So what exactly are the expectations uh, for this year? especially considering that there's all this talk about the expansion of BRICS. There's a lot of countries, 22 of them, in fact, have formally applied to be part of BRICS. There are others who, as we now know, are showing uh, something of an interest. Well, let's bring into the conversation international uh, relations expert. It's Dr. Charles Sinkala. Very kind to make time for me this afternoon, doctor. I appreciate it. Here's my concern. If we bring in more countries, countries who have better GDPs than us, they have lower government expenditure than us, one of those is Nigeria. Are you not worried we could get pushed to the sidelines even further? Uh, well, guess, uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. I don't think so, uh, really, because uh, uh, talk about the, the unanimous uh, working together and the sharing the wealth of uh, the, the uh, the own the nation, and I think that is important for the BRICS uh, uh, countries is working together without anyone dominating the other uh, entity or country. You would agree, though, when it comes to a BRICS totem pole, a ranking what? ladder, if you will, we're at the bottom right now. We have a lot more work to do to to hold our footing in here, especially if we bring more countries in. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I lost you there, Gareth. No, not a problem. I saw I might have lost you there. I'm wondering, though, even with the current five countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Doctor, I hope you can hear me okay. Now, just give me a nod if you can. What I'm asking yes. is if we were to bring other countries in, uh, even yes, knowing... Yes, I can, I can, yes. Wonderful. Even knowing our ranking at the moment, do you think we're doing enough to still earn our place within BRICS? Yes, so uh, we do, Gareth. I do agree with you. Uh, look, uh, if you check the combination of just India, China, and if you combine another, say, for instance, uh, Nigeria, you know, the population a little bit over 200 million people, uh, with that trade, bilateral trade among the countries, uh, which should be uh, signified, especially uh, uh, BRICS uh, promises uh, uh, one currency, you know, without any dominance of any nation in terms of trade. Uh, that would be very significant. I think uh, this is also has been the biggest threat uh, for the West if uh, the BRICS nations can come together. Yes, indeed, there has been only a few who has applied, but uh, look at the attendance, the BRICS, uh, which has opened today uh, in South Africa. There's uh, close to uh, more than 30 uh, uh, heads of states and government you know, to participate. And I think if from that we're going to hear some, a lot of applications uh, to be part of the BRICS nations. Yeah, I'm mean, curious uh, to get your thoughts as well. Now that it's very visceral, Doctor, we've got the leaders of these countries in South Africa, well, barring one, Vladimir Putin, Russian president, is attending virtually. We still have this issue of a goer, don't we? Because it's not just a case of BRICS versus a goer. What we've got is ideological issues and this non-alliance stance of South Africa. How long do do you think we can keep repeating that old mantra of we have a non-alliance stance? Countries with more money than us are going to make us choose one day. Well, uh, that is true. But, uh, you know, I have a view that, uh, you know, yes, it has been identified that South Africa has been non-aligned. But, uh, you know, it's common sense that uh, South Africa is working with Russia. Uh, that can never be, you know... Uh, investigated to prove otherwise that they are not aligned but uh, you know they're trying to play it very nicely to make sure that uh, they do not disturb uh, other partners especially the united states of america and uh, the west mm. no uh, of course it's a it's like a tightrope that we're walking at the moment as a country uh, doctor what's what do you want to hear come out of this are you very Definitely. are you very africa centric are you south africa centric or are you keeping your view more global at the end of BRICS. Would you like to hear a lot more focus on Africa and South Africa, or are you happy to, to let the cards fall where they may? Oh, dear. Looks like it might be frozen. I know Dr. Sinkala is being driven around at the moment. We've all been there. We all know what the Zoom is doing. It's taking a moment to think. No, nope, looks like it's dying. No, nope, looks like it's back. Welcome, yeah, welcome, so no, to, <laughs> welcome back to Zoom. Doctor, I'm going to stop you. I'm sorry. Lost you for a second. Like a very awkward Zoom meeting. Let's start that answer again. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. You were saying. 
No problem. Yes, I was saying, guys, I look at the situation in the world now that, uh, you know, no country will stand alone, especially if you have to isolate yourself from the global uh, political and geopolitical uh, trades in terms of uh, these nations, you know. I think if you one country will isolate itself from either Africa or isolate itself from the world, I think that would be the declaration of a mistake. Mm. And uh, nations can't afford to do that. What we are saying in terms of the BRICS nation that is an alternative uh, that has been provided as as compared to the uh, Convention of United Nations and this, the bureaucratic systems, which has been viewed to be only for West and United States of America, without Africa having a fair deal in terms of dealing with the aspects of trade, as well as the medical. We have seen how we are very exposed, you know, during the COVID pandemic. Um, I think, you know, things will turn around because they have promised a lot of things, having a BRICS currency, uh, having a fair deal in terms of trade, you know, a UN should be one UN supposed to be equal to one brand or one brand supposed to be equal to one quarter and Naira and so forth and so on. Yeah, doctor, I'm so glad you took me to the uh, the BRICS currency as well. I was about to ask you about that, but I think you've summed it up beautifully. And I'm not going to waste your time in doing that. I know you're very busy. You're in the car being driven at the moment as well, responsibly as always. Dr. Charles uh, Sinkala, it's good to speak to you. So hopefully I have a chance again in the next few days. International relations expert uh, Dr. Sinkala joining us here on Thank ENCA. You. All right, we're four minutes away from four o'clock. It is the uh, opening of the BRICS 15th summit, the 15th BRICS summit. Getting the way in the next few minutes we're keeping an eye on it our producers are watching cameras when it starts we'll take you there uh, this is today on ENCA